Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part three of my gun tight offset tight end. If you guys have been watching this all week, uh, I appreciate it. I put out part one and two uh, earlier. I'll try to have links in the description and I'll try to pop links as I'm talking about it uh, in the top right corner. Uh, but other than that, this is part three. This here, here like I said prior, I have uh, some of these plays are in the Cardinals playbook. If you guys know any other uh, playbook that they're in let me know in the comment section i would imagine maybe like the jets or something because the jets are pretty close uh but overall the most uh and the best plays out of this formation are definitely in the saints which is why i showed it out of the saints um but like i said it's this is the gun tight offset tight end typically it's just a gun tight um uh, but this is just a really good play it has a lot of pro concepts that i'm probably not going to show like uh like the bench uh is a really good um you know a lot of a lot of pros love the bench and the bench switch i'm not a fan of those i said that in the last video i'm not a huge fan of those particular plays uh but i've showed pretty much every uh play in here except for the couple that i'm going to show here in part three um and you know it's just a really good it's just a really good formation the gun tight itself is just a really good formation this is just only different because it has a tight end in it rather than four wide receivers um uh, but, but that's good a lot of teams don't have four good wide receivers so that's that's actually pretty helpful um other than that like i said let's go ahead and let's pick uh the first play in the final video i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show the mesh so this play right here i mean a lot of people know this play i don't really run it um like you know people uh, have done in the past this, this this is not as effective as it was in previous mans where you do the you do the mesh double drags you get a couple of yards it's, it's not great though i think there's a really good way to run it now uh where you can basically just take uh get in there put them on a flat route and you have a really good cover two concept um which is you know you have a high low uh for whatever reason this circle route here this gets this gets unbelievable separation when you when you combine these routes um it's just such a really uh, a cheap and cheesy uh, concept here. I don't think that Kimura. I put him on a pass block because I don't really want him drawing coverage. I, I want him to. I want this circle route to get forgotten. And if he doesn't get forgotten, then you got Fleener just wide open on a cover too. So really good play. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do this a couple times. On the other side, I can't say that I really um, you know do much with with them at all. You can use the concept that I used prior which is uh put this guy on an out route motion him out and then you can just see how uh thomas is just a really dirty route on the other side so this is a really simple play but it's really capable of a lot of different things so i would say realistically if you set this play up properly you got cover two on the right side now i got cover three on the left side um, just motioning this guy out makes this a really good cover three play. But realistically, I can tell already this is not a cover three. This is a cover two. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I, I went to cover two side. But yeah, this is just a really good play no matter what you're doing. Like I said, make sure you pass block Kamara there. That's important. So they're going to treat this like a cover two, even though it looks like a cover one. Since it's a cover one man, obviously that outside slant's going to be murderous. And we got a big play. This looks like a cover, probably a cover three. It might be a cover one. Got to pay attention for that. And we, it was some sort of blitz. I mean, we had a lot of people open, but I went Fleener's way. Fleener's the safest bet for sure. As you can see, he's pretty much getting open against cover three or cover two. And we got cover two, man. <laughs> Doesn't matter, man. Fleener's getting it done. So this here looks like it's either a cover one <clears throat> or a cover three. Got to watch to see what they do. Definitely a cover three. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to throw in that gap. And I thought he would catch and run that, but it's all good. Big play. Here we got cover three once again. Or a cover one. Got to watch if it's a man. Let's see what happens. Definitely a cover three. Slide in that pocket. Throw it over in that hole there. Get going, Thomas. And we're going to move on with that one. We're going to move on with that one. 